Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. In this episode, we're going to talk about derma rolling again and what is the optimal needle depth uh, to make the whole process and procedure most effective and efficient. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. So one of the most common questions that I get asked either on the channel or uh, during consultation is, well, I'm derma rolling, uh, what's the needle depth, what's the best needle depth that um, I should use? So uh, the, sh the short summary of that is that there is no unified answer to that question. It is specific to you as an individual. So derma rolling is essentially causing micro uh, damage, small little needles, causing damage to the surface of the skin. What that does is it promotes blood flow to the area. In doing so, you bring growth factors to the area and that causes stimulation of the, of the hair, hair follicles in that area. One of the potential risks, I would say, is that if you've got a needle depth that is too high, is that you may transect a hair and if, if it's just the hair shaft that you've transected, generally that's not a problem because the hair will just carry on growing. You may just, it, it may, the top may fall off, but the, the, the hair will still continue to grow at a centimeter per month. But if you've gone exceptionally deep and you damage the root or the, the stem cells, the bulb at the base of the hair follicle, then there's the potential risk that you've damaged that hair and you will uh, cause scarring in that area and, and that hair won't, will not grow. So you don't want too great a depth of needle because you run the risk of that happening uh, at that point. And then on the other end of the spectrum, if the needle depth is too shallow, then it's not going to cause enough of a response to promote blood flow to the area and therefore promote growth factors uh, that are going to accumulate in the area and therefore you, one would argue, well, what's the point? All right, so I think both ends are problematic, but certainly if you're at the, the end where you're going too deep, then the risk could be more long term. So how, how do you approach it? Well, if you're buying derma rollers and you can source them from uh, a multitude of different places, but if you're buying derma rollers, they usually come in different uh, size needles in terms, of, in terms of their length. And I would start low, all right? Start small and then see how you respond. In the sense that you want to see that you want to get, there should be some change to the area, some redness to the area. And then as long as it's not too painful as well, try to, to build up. I think if you get to the point, if you increase the needle depth length to the point that you're starting to bleed, all right, or you notice small little uh, droplets of blood, then you've probably gone a little too far and then peg back the uh, needle depth to the, the one below that because going too far, again, runs the risk of damaging the, uh, the hair follicles. And that depth will change, as in will be different from uh, person to person. That's what makes you as an individual an individual. So start, my advice is to start low and then try it. And then with, you know, every couple of days, increase the, the depth until you get to a point where you're starting to, to see specks of blood. Now that's probably a little bit too deep and then peg back a little bit. If one of the other risks, if you, if you are going too deep, even if you don't damage the hair follicles, by going too deep and it, to the point where you're bleeding from the area, you may cause scarring in that area. And scarring, again, is uh, not ideal. It can cause changes, as, changes to the surface of the skin. And certainly if you were looking at transplanting into an area, it can also make it harder if there's scar tissue in that, in that area. So I hope you found that uh, useful. Uh, I, you know, I think derma rolling is great. Uh, you can use it in combination with other therapies as well. Uh, and um, again, thanks again for the question. That was one that's been asked quite a few times. So please keep the questions coming. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again on the next episode. Take care.